Yo, what is going on YouTube? Uh, I wanted to make this video because I thought it was kind of important. A lot of people DM me on Discord apologizing for the mean things they said. I mean, there was a lot of accusations going around and things of that nature, and I kind of exposed all of it, exposed all my enemies and destroyed them. And, uh, you know, for the people that actually took to my DMs apologizing, bro, I gained so much respect for you. Even though I didn't respond, you guys are the reason why I'm making this video. And I want y'all to understand something. Even though that those people who did those accusations did a lot worse things than I've ever done in my life, at the same time, sometimes I'm toxic, bro. Sometimes I respond to toxicity with way worse toxicity. Sometimes I, I cuss out people when they don't deserve it. I'm just, sometimes I be mean. And it, it's kind of like, uh, you know, most of the time I do it on YouTube and things of that nature is purely for entertainment purposes because I know when I roast people and shit, you guys are laughing. But man, sometimes, you know, I take it too far. Like, you know, like, for example, maybe my member, you know, accidentally does something stupid and I'll be like, yo, bitch, what the fuck? Like, just super angry. And it's like, it's not appropriate behavior. And also, you know, getting growing up, you realize how much kids copy other behavior and i don't need my own members sounding like me because i'm an idiot when i act like that bro it's truly idiotic i'm a very intelligent human being all my members know this and and it's below me to act you know respond to hate with hate and so that's why i actually made a i do daily messages in my clan gb and i actually want to read out one of the daily messages to you guys that i made because i think it's super important so it reads, responding to hate with hate only generates more hate, making it a never ending cycle of negativity, toxicity, and hatred. These hate stories on these hate on hate stories don't come from Roblox or Rogue Demon. People have gone to war with countries uh, of the breeding breeding of hatred because of the breeding of hatred and millions have lost their lives. These are world wars. All type of wars have usually triggered from hatred. Hatred is a devastating emotion, but I don't believe it's the most powerful emotion. I believe love is the strongest emotion, second comes fear, and third comes hatred. I might be wrong, but this is my personal understanding. Love one another. Even if someone is toxic and is mean, that doesn't mean you got to be their friend or help them rise in the rankings or whatever. At least be the best version of yourself to them. Try to help them. Everybody is struggling with toxicity inter internally, whether it's one way or another. Be a good person. Remember, God isn't always pure peace. Now, this is religion stuff, so I don't want to talk too much about it. But what I will say is you shouldn't judge a person on how they act, but you should judge a person on how they treat you on a personal level. And like, because when you are talking to someone one on one, that's when you typically get who they truly are as a person. Um, and, you know, once you understand truly how a person is, if they're negative, hey, call them out. Be like, hey, you shouldn't be like that. That's super mean. It's going to make people not like you. And, you know, if you're one of those people who can't take constructive criticism and if somebody says something like that to you and your immediate response is to get angry, then you got to work on yourself, man. Because if my members were like, yo, Xavier, why would you say that? That wasn't cool. But I'll really sit there and I'll think about it and I'll be like, man, why did I say that? I didn't need to say that. So listen, bro. I just want to let, and I just want to let everybody know that, that be apologizing for that stuff. I hella forgive you guys, but man, I forgive you guys more than I forgive myself. And that's what I need you guys to know. The people that forgive me of these accusations were bad accusations. And the people that threw these accusations were actually the people responsible for the accusations they were throwing around. So I understand why you'd be apologizing. It's not, it's very bad to accuse someone of the things, I, very dangerous to accuse some of the things I was accused of, especially when I just turned 18. It's kind of weird and I've been with my girlfriend. I actually plan on marrying her. I've been with her since I was like 15. So it's kind of weird, but you know, I definitely forgive you guys, bro. And it, it's never too late to pick the right side. You know, I've done so much uh, things that people would consider wrong in my life and I'm able to, you know, follow. Uh, follow God and stuff and, and work on having my core tenants be positive ones that benefit the people around me. So yeah, man, I just felt like it was important to make this video. I love you guys. Peace.